What's up, y'all? I wanted to bring this up because I noticed that the other day when I was keying up these Abus, everybody's familiar with Abus padlocks, uh, the numbers that are on there, they assign to different keyways. So the 800 is a wiser keyway. The most common one in the U.S. is the Schlage keyway, which is the 300. Where is it? You can barely see it right there, 300. Um, and if we just take a couple of them apart, I wanted to show you most of them come with six pin keys and this little, uh, what's this, they call this a cap, what is it, C something, CV or something, they got a name on it. Uh, and they, this is for if you're keying it up to a six pin key. And they also send one key blank with it, they're always stamped with that number. Uh, and I noticed this on Wiser, so I wanted to kind of point it out when I was keying up these two to a particular key, we get these in. Now most of the time when we sell these, we're selling them uh, to somebody and they're to key up to their existing key. A lot of times people maybe have Wiser, especially here in Mississippi, Wiser's a real popular key. So uh, it's one of the more popular ones when somebody wants to be able to lock their gate or whatever the case is, they would have either Schlage, Quickset, or Wiser. Now, Quickset is available, however, again, there's no reason you can't get Wiser. That's one way to limit stock is because a Quickset key will work fine in any Wiser keyway. Uh, but I do want to show you one little trick to it. Let's move this over here. Let's grab a screwdriver, take them both apart. And uh, the trick is in the keying of it. Uh, so we drop it out. Now, of course, there is this little called the doodad. We all know about the doodad. This doodad is used to keep the key retained. That way, key retaining means when you open the padlock, the key won't turn to move back to remove the key until you relock the padlock. That keeps the padlock or limits the chance that the padlock would disappear. If you want to be able to use it uh, without the key retaining feature, you just take this off and don't use it at all. If you do use it, put it on, you want the, when you're looking at the back of the core like this, you want that dot to be facing up. So uh, let's go ahead and take this one apart too, same way, so that we can see the difference between Wiser and Schlage, just so it's obvious it's not for just, for all of them, it's just for Wiser from what I've found. So when you're rekeying this, you're gonna come up, Turn it, push this retainer in, and then turn it the rest of the way, which exposes the chamber holes there. And we'll go ahead and remove that. So this makes it easy to rekey. Of course, you can take the clip off and rekey it that way as well. However, you got to be very, very careful when you're following it out. You would normally turn it to this position and follow it out, but that spring-loaded thing can get caught up in the chamber right there, so you definitely don't want that to happen. But just to point out this, we're going to key this up as standard. Most of y'all know with your keys, the bidding on it tells you what pins to use, so 3, 5, 6, 7, 3. And uh, we'll just go ahead and key it up. 3... Five is a 240. There's our obligatory siren. I put that in upside down. That was silly. Three, five, six, seven, and three. So as we see, that just keys up perfectly normal. Works fine. But, when we're keying up a wiser, we do the same thing. Let's go 12206. Uh, two, oh, Something just fell. My, my doodad fell off. So, 12206. Oh, the 1 is 186. 2204. Oh, two of those. Sorry about the camera hit. 2. Two zero is uh, 168 up there, and six would be 
276. Now, let's look at that. Look at that. So as you can see, yes, this is just the warning. This is the whole point of the video. 12206 uh, will cause problems. It will not work. So you have to go deeper. So 1 turns into 2, which would be 204. 2 turns into 3, which would be 222. Two of those. Uh, zero turns into one, which was what? Two? Oh, no, wait. One is uh, one eighty-six, and six turns into seven, which would be two ninety-four. Deep sucker. And there we go. So, if you are keying up a wiser keyway Avis lock, you have to be very careful and make sure you key it deeper one step because of that particular issue. So again, if you have any questions or comments on this or anything else, just let us know. Uh, I'm actually going to key this back up to the blank key because again, we key mostly. I've already got two keyed up ready to go there. So I'm going to just key this back to the blank key for stock for when somebody comes in needing it. Now, if you were going to use that uh, little, where'd the, where'd the doodad go? Uh, basically, you just put your six pin in. If you had a six pin, which wiser six pins, very rare. There's your top pin. Then you slide that little cap into there. And uh, that's, that's how that works. So anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Just a reminder, if you're keying up a wiser Avis lock, just be careful with it. Key it one step deeper. Thanks for watching, y'all.